Hello everyone, I'm RPG and welcome back to Sonic Mania Plus, the game that does not hold back at all when it comes to details like that. It's such the little things too, like the little animations between levels and everything. Mania Plus pretty much got that right. And they even made Mighty and Ray's running animations based off of their Sega Sonic arcade counterparts. You know, with the animations and everything, rather. And also they added new animations for, well, Super Sonic, which we'll get to when I get Super Sonic. But also, they added the new animations there. Get the f*** out of here, weeb. You know what? I was going to try and go this entire recording without swearing. And then I just see weeb likes Tomoko playing Fortnite. Like, alright, weeb. We get it. You're a child. I wanted to switch. Okay, fine, whatever. Anyway, um... I actually haven't had a chance to talk about this yet. Ray has a, has a new animation as well. Like, you know, very similar to Mighty's. Except instead, he uses the chemicals as a hair gel to spike his hair up. Very charming and adds to the character of Ray, where there wasn't really much of a character at all. And I like that. And Mighty's still- uh oh. And Mighty's still kind of a tough guy. I'm trying to show off that you can easily skip it, but also, they changed that up. Now it's two blocks on the end instead of all four blocks, but hey. What are you gonna do? I'm personally happy with the decision because it actually makes it easier to go through. Now, that platform there, it wasn't originally there, and I feel like they were trying to prevent people from, uh, from skipping it. Because you can skip the level easily if you do that. But also to make it easier to get back up in case you do fall. But in the process they just made it super easy to skip. Where does this go? You know what? I should have known. I really should have known. Race Flight breaks the game so bad. No, 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 no. What the? <laughs> you know what? Okay, sure. That was originally going to be a reset, but you know what? That's entertaining. Ray kind of breaks the game just a little bit. He's like the Brawl Meta Knight of the group. Now, those spikes weren't originally there. But see what I mean? The running animation? No, thank you. How they stick their arm out like that and then just sprint full force. Everyone else, well, not Knuckles. And I don't... Okay, not everyone else then. So just Sonic uses a Sonic CD-esque sprite. Which is actually pretty cool. This game really just puts a lot of detail onto everything. Now, Encore Mode Chemical Plant, it kind of looks more sanitary. A bit cleaner, you know, more modern. Looks kind of like a hospital in a sense. I don't know, I get that kind of vibe. But also... Maybe nighttime, I guess, because of that dark green over in the back. I don't. I don't really see night in this. I mean, I, I guess I could see it a little bit. Oh, ho, that solid color does not work there, Ray. But you know what? You do you. Also, he's the Fonz. Ray. Okay. You know what? I gotta stop stealing other YouTubers' jokes and be original. <laughs> anyway, Chemical Plant Act 2 kind of takes the chemical gimmicks a bit further and adds these syringes with this green stuff inside and blue. If it's a dark blue, then you cannot jump on the chemical pond, like, you know, this. If it's light blue, you can bounce on it, and if it's green, you're gonna fly when you jump on it. Now, I know for a fact that there's blue chemicals here. You cannot jump on this. It's very dangerous. However, you can jump on the light blue and even the green. Now, this special ring location did not change. And this is one of the only ones that I actually remember existing in Mania mode. I know that there's more special rings in Chemical Plant in Encore mode. One of them 
is in Act 1. Wait, hang on. Am I thinking of the right ones? Yeah, okay, I am. Uh, one of them's in Act 1, and it's kind of tough to get to because it's under a platform that usually you take the top path to get. Whereas, in Act 2, there's also yet another one that's behind a wall. I'm not sure how to get to either of them. I know how to get to this one though, and I know some in Studiopolis, which is thankfully where we're going. Actually, I only know of one there too, so we could only get a max of four by the end of the episode. Oh well. Uh, never mind, we can only get a max of three. Sure. Thanks, game. I always hate that part of the special stage because I always feel like I'm going to fly off, and most of the time I don't, but right there, that pr Oh no, it's that random ass RPG game. And a guy named Spanky's playing. You know what? I don't even know who that is, but sure. Oh, pff, I thought I was mighty. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing to assume. Like, oh, I thought I was mighty. But I really did. That I tried to do a ground pound. Or a stomp, or whatever you'd call it. He does the ground pound. Ah, randomizer. Oh, I lost mighty. That's right, he died. Rip him. Alright, we gotta get him back. We either gotta find a monitor laying around somewhere. Or we gotta get a, in the pinball. And I'd actually like to show off the pinball minigame. Very unique, actually. And in my opinion, it's better than the Blue Sphere stuff. But that's because I already beat every Blue Sphere level in this game. <laughs> But, whatever. Like, I would've been fine with more Blue Sphere or something entirely new. And I'm glad they went with the pinball, because it's actually really fun. No, I wanna show it off! I wanna show it off! Let me go in. I think you need at least 50 rings to enter it, though it could be 40. I'm not entirely sure what the limit is, but you gotta have a high amount of rings. Um, so once you enter, you have a chance to win something. Oh, I got Mighty. I, was, I accidentally pressed down too soon, and I still got him. But anyway, it plays like pinball, and then once you get to this screen, you can press down to win something. In this case, a bubble shield. And then after two turns, the screen will scroll up. And then after another, I think, two? Is it two or three turns? Also, there are those seizure-inducing bumpers there that once you hit them from either directly above or directly below, they'll disappear. Keyword, directly. You, you can't really hit them from an angle on the side or whatever. But, yeah. So anyway, that's the end of that. We got Mighty back, so that's good. Uh, I'd like to go through the Knuckles exclusive path, but as Sonic. Uh, did they actually make it possible to do with anyone and not just Knuckles? That would be cool. I think they did, because I don't remember this random ass platform being there. Oh, wait, there's a special ring. There's the one I was talking about. The one that's behind the wall. I found it. Wait, no, this is a different one. I thought that was the one behind the wall, and I thought I just found a path to it. But no, that's an entirely new special ring that I did not know about. That is epic. Anyway, speaking of uh, the sprites used and how fluid the animations are, there are even in the unused stuff, like the tail sprite for this, which might actually be used now, but it probably isn't. But that would have been a cool addition to Mania Plus, adding in the fact that Tails can do that. I will check later to see. 
Like, you know, Tails having an animation now and not just existing. Oh, see, I turn sideways. I don't like doing that. I don't like that at all. Oh, that's weird. Can I get it in Mach 2? Alright. I've always gotten it in Mach 3, but I guess you could do it in Mach 2, as I just proved. But no, I want to check and see on Tails' the sprite there. I don't think he can, but he might be able to. I just accidentally found a special ring. That is the best feeling in the world. When you screw up a special stage, but then you just explore and you accidentally find another special ring. That is amazing. Now, what's not so amazing is when you find one that you cannot get to. That is the worst feeling. But dude, I gotta make sure I have Knuckles and Chemical Plant from now on. Oh great, Sonic- well actually it's Tails and Sonic, so I guess it's slightly more interesting. But Sonic and Tails has kind of been done to death. I mean, they're the main characters, of course they're a duo. Mm, I'm gonna wait on doing that. Oof. Ouch, the water is too hot. I'm trying to get a combo set up, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to. Is that the first blue one I've had? Yeah, there's two. That's not really a combo, but sure. I should probably stop worrying about combos and actually try to do something, because if I don't, then I'm just gonna lose. There's an easy combo. Yeah, I'm not the best at Mean Bean Machine, but I think the highest combo I got was a four. Which isn't that bad, but it's not that good either. Okay, sure. I mean, it, it can sure as hell beat Robotnik, so... I guess it's okay, at least. So yeah, now Sonic's standing on the edge. And now we take the sewer system out of Chemical Plant, and to... Studiopolis. And it looks more industrial than I remember. Because originally it looked, well, you know how it looked. It was more purple and orange and more vibrant. Now it looks kind of washed out and... That's really all it is. It's just washed out now. Never really noticed it. Like, it was more blue and orange before. And now it's kind of purplish and orange yellow that's a weird way to describe it but yeah and the background there with the sky with the dark brown skyscraper seemingly on the kind of darkish bright orange i don't know how to explain it it kind of reminds me of scrap brain though a little bit which is why i always get the feeling that this is more industrial than before oh they also have new references here From today on, I am interesting. Alright, I don't really know what that's a reference to. That might just be some random inspirational quote pulled from the internet. But I don't know. That might... It probably is a reference to something, but I'm just not sure because I have never seen that quote before. But, uh, yeah. It exists. And I guess that's a good way to live life. Being interesting. Something I'm trying to do. Because, I mean, I gotta make content, right? I can't 
can't not be interesting. If not, no one will watch it. Okay, uh, Tails, get out of there. Ow. Now, I know of one special ring in Act 2, much like with... Well, I... Much like with what I used to know from Chemical Plant, but now I know of two... This LP was good. So far. Like, maybe not in terms of commentary, and I'm trying to get better at that, but... So far, in terms of, like, actually learning stuff about the game, I learned about a special ring location, alright? You can't really get much better than that. That's an extra emerald for speedruns. By the way, I'm no speedrunner, but it's fun to go through the game as fast as possible. Also, I remember you used to be able to skip the trigger for this boss here. I remember you used to be able to do that, but now I don't know if you can. I guess I could have tried it. I mean, I am Tails. Hmm. Anyway, this boss is actually a very unique idea. It's a... I thought I was rolling. Ow. It's a running boss in a classic game. There are not many of those. Ah, uh, I, I almost got hit there. I panicked. Yeah, there aren't many of those running bosses in the classic games. Um... I don't... I guess you count Metal Sonic. But this is more akin to the Advanced series. Specifically Advanced 2. And that might be what their inspiration was for this. Can I hit that? Oh. Uh, oh, it wouldn't have done anything anyway. I like the background, like the stars in the sky and everything. That looks cool. Yeah, Tails can just fly through the level. Or not. Now, I love how Act 1 of Studiopolis, it feels kind of like you're in Hollywood, kind of, you know, a filming location. And then, at the end of Act 1, you kind of see a little bit of behind the scenes. But then, once you get to Act 2, it's like, whoa, it feels more like Broadway, and, I mean, I guess a casino, too, because you can actually see the influence because of the lottery thing. But it just, it feels a lot more like a studio, and a set. What? What was that noise? Yeah, I just heard a random, uh -uh. Anyway, um, with the addition of the lottery set, and then the boss being a weatherman, it just, it feels a lot more like a studio, but with those curtains in the background, it also feels more like a play, kinda. And it's like, it's kind of, okay, act one, you're filming stuff, act two, you gotta go edit. Which is kind of true to real life. I mean, you can't really edit anything if you don't have something recorded. Mighty and Ray, ow. Mighty and Ray. Oh yeah. Gotta get Swifty. Okay, I'll, I'm not gonna reference Sonic Mania Repainted again after that. Or Rick and Morty, for that matter. Um, where am I? I know I'm an act- Okay, okay. There's a special ring back this way. Now, it wasn't here in Mania mode, it was just a bunch of rings. But here in Encore mode, it's a special ring. Because, why not? It's actually a decent location for a special ring, too. Here we are, the fourth special stage, sharing the same aesthetics as the fourth special stage from Mania Mode, because if you reverse an odd number, and, like, reverse the order of it, like how it's going, the seventh is the first, the second is the sixth, that sort of thing, the fourth will always be the fourth. Or the number directly in the middle will always be directly in the middle, Unless there is no number directly in the middle, and it's two numbers, like, 
5 and 6. Let's say there were 8 Chaos Emeralds. 5 and 6 would be just barely swapped, but they'd still be swapped. 5.5 would be the non-changing variable, but there is no 5.5 special stage. Nor are there 8 Chaos Emeralds, so you really don't have to worry about that. <laughs> anyway, Mighty and Ray's models in here look really good. I don't think I've mentioned that yet, but they just... They kind of fit right in. The sprites look a little bit off, I guess, is the way to put it. But the models really fit right in. I don't know, it's just something about the sprites. Something is off. It still looks good, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying something looks very off compared to before. So then again, that might be because Mighty and Ray, okay. Mighty and Ray were originally from three, a 3D game. Or, well, they still use sprites and everything. But technically, you could move around on a 3D plane, so I consider that as... Oh, if that spike glitch was there from day one, then, um... Yeah, I would be in an endless loop right now. Not getting the Chaos Emerald, and I'd be pretty mad. Because I'd have to restart the recording. Anyway, that's the only special ring that I know of in Act 2 of Studiopolis. The only one I know of in Studiopolis, period. Rather than that one that was there. Like, I know of a few in Mania Mode. But in Encore Mode, I only know of that one. Look at those backgrounds. They're so detailed. Even with the kind of bad color palettes, it still looks amazing. With the original color palettes though, it kind of looks better, obviously, because things actually look good and ap apply to color theory. Blah, I can't talk today. I can't talk any day! Anyway, I'd go through the pinball minigame again, but there's really no point since I have all the characters. And I don't really need any shields or anything. So, yeah. I'm pretty good after this. I'm not after this, I'm not. You know what? Doesn't matter. Anyway, we're quickly approaching the boss. In fact, here we are already. Wow. When I said quickly approaching, I was not kidding. You can actually just use Raise Flight and then become a ball. Right there. Now, anyway. The boss didn't change at all. And did the palette in the background change at all? It might have. Like the TV screen, I mean. Did that change at all? Because it looks kind of newer. It might not have, though it probably did. Oh, so the lightning is based on where you are and not where Robotnik is. I didn't know that because I always spent my time under him. Now that's a very creative idea for a boss. Have a bad Nick predicting the weather. And then have the stage use gimmicks like that. That's cool. Also that buzzing noise. 25th anniversary stream reference, baby! 72216 is the date, and that horrible buzzing noise was there the entire time. Anyway, Flying Battery returns, and it looks bad. But we'll get into that next episode, alright? This has been the one called RPG, and... Yeah, join me back next time where we will go through Flying Battery. See you guys then.